I'm going out. It's dangerous to go out. Don't go. It's okay. It, it has been four months. I've been at home. I want to go. And hello. Good morning, ma'am. It's me, Kulpa. My sister is Sunita. She is uh, showing some symptoms of COVID-19. So, ma'am, what should we do? Coronavirus acts different with different people. Few of the individuals would be asymptomatic though they acquire the infection. Few of them exhibit the symptoms within five to six days of having it or at least up till 14 days. The common symptoms would be like dry cough, the constant fever, tiredness, body aches and pains, uh, diarrhea, conjunctivitis, loss of taste and smell for many days and Few of the people would be having an itchy and blotchy skin all over the body and some will also have a discoloration of toes and fingers if the oxygen level is very low. The other thing what the individual can do at a home quarantine when he has one of the symptoms or these symptoms, he can just monitor his or her oxygen saturation. The normal oxygen saturation would be 95 to 100 percentage and if you have any breathing difficulty or a cough which is constant just check your saturation and if your saturation is below 88 percent that means you need to seek the medical attention immediately and the other uh, serious uh, symptoms which uh, individual requires the medical services immediately is any chest pain loss of uh, speech or movement all this requires medical attention and now the study shows that 10% of the population even have delirium new psychosis uh, which also affects the neurological system has to immediately seek the medical attention. Hello good day everyone so today we are going to discuss about the home quarantine and home management of COVID-19 as per Karnataka state guidelines. So if you are having a fever, cough, sore throat or loss of taste during this period you have to inform the COVID room center immediately wherein they will send the laboratory personnel to do your swab test. If the test is positive the local authorities will come and assess your house whether it is suitable for the home isolation and your vital sign will be checked like the temperature, the blood pressure, oxygen saturation level and the blood glucose and your in front of your house there will be a notification that you are in home isolation your hand will be stamped for the next following 14 days and you have to download the quarantine watch app and your number will be linked with telemonitoring app for the daily follow-up care so now let us discuss about the home quarantine measures for the caregivers assign one constant family member to take care of the patient to have less contact Food can be left at the door. Avoid direct contact with the patient as much as possible. Wearing surgical mask is important for both the patient and the caregiver. Proper disposal of mask and changing the mask every 6 to 8 hours is necessary. Reusing the surgical mask is not recommended. Wash hands with soap and water or alcohol-based sanitizer frequently. Avoid sharing household items with the patient. Clean and disinfect regularly with gloves and protective clothing. Caregiver and the family member should monitor their health status regularly. Now, let us discuss about managing stress during this pandemic. Counseling the patient as well as the family member is important. Practice yoga, meditation or any other physical exercise. Keep in contact with the loved ones through online sources. Be productive as much as possible. Think positive. Enhance your spirituality. Take 21 days challenge to build a good habit. Hello everyone, as we know still there is no vaccine or cure identified for coronavirus, boosting our immunity is important. Hence, it is important to have adequate amount of proper food because food that we eat, it plays a vital role in boosting our immunity. The measures are first drink plenty of warm water throughout the day and preferably lemon water which helps to keep our body alkaline ginger water mint or tulsi water it helps to hydrate our body second 
For timing, you can avoid non-seasonal cold foods or mucus forming foods such as cakes, ice creams, bananas, watermelon, grapes or any cold or frozen food. Third, eat balanced homemade food which are warm and cooked well. Fourth, on these pandemic days, make sure you avoid eating raw vegetables which may be contaminated during cold storage and transportation or if you prefer to have it, make sure you wash it thoroughly before consuming. Fifth, cooking vegetables, grains may reduce contamination because of heating as coronavirus does not survive in hot medium. Sixth, Include immunity boosting food or ingredient in your meal which helps you to protect from diseases to certain extent. Example, tulsi, turmeric, cloves, promogenate, ginger, jaggery, cumin, coriander, garlic, honey and lemongrass. Seventh, Ministry of Ayush suggests consuming herbal tea as an immunity booster. It is made just by boiling tulsi, turmeric, raisin, cinnamon, and dry ginger. Jaggery and lemon can be added as per the taste. It can be consumed once or twice a day. Eighth, Ayush also suggests golden milk as it has antiviral and antibacterial properties. It is made by mixing a turmeric powder and in a warm milk. Ninth, Eat 25 grams of nuts daily for regular protein in body. If one cannot eat nuts, then daily eat boiled moong, boiled peanut, egg or cooked meat. Lastly, also you can take warm salt gargle regularly and steam inhalation to keep your lungs and throat clean. The mask is very effective in reducing the transmission of COVID-19 infection from person to person. Uh, it is only effective when used properly. So we will show you the steps that should be kept in mind while wearing the mask. Now we will show you what should not be done while wearing the mask. Don't wear it with your nose exposed. Don't cover just your nose and mouth. Don't wear it loosely. Don't use the mask to hide your double chin. Don't cover just the tip of your nose. Don't touch the front of the mask. Now we'll show you the right way to put the mask. It should be worn from the bridge of the nose till the bottom of the chin. And we can use strings to adjust. Hello, my name is Dorothy, pediatric nurse in Cloud9 Hospital. So I'm making this video for awareness during this time of pandemic. So I'll be giving you some five steps to follow to prevent the spread of coronavirus. The first thing is stay home, stay safe. Second thing, maintain social distancing, which is six feet away. The third thing, wash your hands with soap and water to prevent the virus to stay on your hand. Fourth thing, avoid men, which means avoid to touch your mouth, your ears, and your nose. The fifth thing, wear a face mask for your all-time protection. If still you're not feeling well, please seek for help by calling the government helpline, which will reach out to you to help you out. Thank you. Proper hand washing is also very important, so now I'll be showing you all 7 steps of hand washing. First, to rub palms together. Second, rub the back of both hands. Third, interlace fingers and rub hands together. Fourth, interlock fingers and rub the back of fingers of both hands. Fifth, rub thumb in a rotating manner followed by the area between index finger and thumb. Sixth, rub fingertips on palm for both hands. Seventh, rub both wrists in a rotating manner and rinse it with. As responsible citizens, it is our responsibility to protect ourselves, our family, and our country. Coronavirus, which came into India as a guest, is no more a guest today. It has made its room in our surroundings and waiting to enter our homes and disturb our lives if we are careless. Yes, India has entered into the phase of community transmission. But we are much potent than this virus. With our knowledge, with our precautions and actions, we can break this chain of 
transmission. So let's all together do it. Let's just break this chain forever. <laughs>